that we will not get lost and that that will be recorded in the records of the proceeding. We will do that, Your Honor. That would be all for the witness, with Your the, Honor. With the conformity of the defense. Subject to the discretion of this Honorable Court, Your Honor. We are willing to do that. Now, he is now temporarily closing under the ordinary rules of procedure and evidence, Your Honor. We can cross-examine only after the direct examination had been terminated. But in order to gain time... No, but uh, yes. this is the, as w a witness, so uh, since the witness, uh, he, the prosecution is finished with the witness, it's proper for the defense now to conduct a cross-examination. Precisely, Your Honor, we will be asking for authority and our permission to be allowed to conduct our cross-examination, Your Honor. Proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, Mr. Witness, kindly go over the subpoena address to you before I start asking you questions. Sir, may I have the document, please? Thank you, sir. Kindly examine it before I proceed with my cross-examination. Witness examining the document, Your Honor. I have examined it already, All right. Your Honor. Now, may I direct your attention to a portion thereof, which is then and there to testify your knowledge in the case which is before this Honorable Senate. Did you notice that? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand that you are supposed to testify and not merely bring the documents mentioned in the subpoena? Yes, Your Honor. And you are required to testify based on your personal knowledge, I suppose. Yes, Your Honor. Right. Now I noticed that in your in your direct examination, in the direct ex your answers in the direct examination, you mentioned about the procedure relative to the issuance and the cancellation of titles involved in a particular request for registration. Am I right? Yes, Your Honor. And I, am I right to state? that you have no personal participation in any of those proceedings. You're May not I please repeat the question, sir. Am I right in understanding you that in the presentation, recording, and so on, that you describe in your direct examination, you have no direct participation? Yes, Your Honor. All right. So you do not know the incidents taking place during the process of registration? As the head of the office, I, I have uh, the knowledge of the procedures. You mean you were present when those proceedings were being undertaken? Not personally, sir. Oh, so what is the basis of your knowledge? That which had been reported to you only, is it not? Uh, that it has uh, underwent the process because of the system. But you are not answering my question. My question to you is this. Yes, sir. What is the basis of your knowledge in the process of registration that leads to the issuance of the titles that you brought before this Honorable Court? Uh, my basis, sir, is there is a process in the uh, registration in the, of the oh. document. And you just... And uh, it will not uh, reach the approval stage without going through the regular process in our uh, public documentation. May we request your honor that the witness be allowed to complete his answer before additional <laughs> questions Counselor, should be propounded. Go ahead. Counselor, please let the uh, witness thank complete. Thank you, your honor. Thank you, your honor. May I apologize to the learned counsel for the prosecution? My question to you is what personal knowledge do you have in the matter of processes involving registration that you describe in your direct examination because you made me believe that all these were done 
by people in your office. Am I right? That is true, sir. All right. It is clear now that those proceedings have been undertaken by your people or employees under your command. That is true, sir. All right. And uh, what you know about this comes from the report that were submitted to you as head of the office. Actually, sir, uh, it will, uh, in my previous answer, it will not come to my uh, the approval stage without undergoing the usual process of registration, which goes to the entry clerk, the payment of the required fees, and then to the uh, land registration examiner, and then recommending it for approval or denial at my stage, but that, sir. But that is not my question to you, Mr. Witness. My question to you is your personal knowledge involving the proceedings that the, that uh, were undertaken for purposes of registration. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, now, what I can say is yes, my Madam. personal knowledge is that it went through the usual process as mandated in our office. But if what you are asking me, sir, is if I were personally there when it was entered and then when it was presented to the cashier at that time, my answer will be no, sir. Not in all cases. All right. But Thank in some cases, I was personally there, all sir. Right. Thank you, then. Now, among the documents that you identified today, would you kindly point to us where in any of those documents were you present in the entire process of registration of these documents? I suppose none. Well, I think, Your Honor, that the Council is giving an answer even before an answer could be <laughs> made by the witness. That is part uh, of my that, question. That, no, that's a part of cross-examination. That's it. Two questions, Your Honor. The question should be made only one by one under the rules and evidence. What is the basis of the rule of... Uh, what, what is your ground of objection? If Your Honor, please. May I ask the ground of the objection, Your Honor? Because uh, he's already arguing. No, what the law provides is... State the objection only, and, and do not make an explanation. My objection is, Your Honor, is that before another question should be propounded, the witness should be pers permitted to answer the previous question. All right. So, but, uh, so That's that, very that, basic, Your Honor. All right. And so I learned that from my remedial law professor, <laughs> who happens to be no less than the defense counsel. May, maybe you were absent when I discussed that. <laughs> Order, order. <laughs> order. Sorry, Your Honor, so I that apologize. There will be no wrangling. Will you kindly slice your questions minutely so that the witness will understand? All right. Thank you, Your Honor. And they shall, be, they shall be followed. Among the many documents that you now ident brought before this court, and identified which one were you present throughout the entire proceeding. If uh, your question, sir, is throughout the entire proceedings and in every step of the procedure, my answer will have to be no. Thank you. Now, so what you wanted to tell the Honorable Court in your testimony a while ago under direct is that those procedures that you identified were the procedures to be undertaken before registration could be effected. Am I right? Yes, Your Honor. All right. And with that, you are referring to the legal procedures pertaining to your office. Am I right? Yes, Your Honor. All right. And you presume that they were followed religiously by the persons under your responsibility or command, right? Of course, Your Honor. Yes, sir. All right. Now, <clears throat> may I call your attention to an document? Oh, parking lot. All right. May you kindly go over those documents you identified and kindly tell this honorable court which of the documents pertain to the parking lots in so far as uh, that condominium you mentioned a while ago. At the, 
At this juncture, Your Honor, if, if we may be permitted. Proceed. Apparently, these documents presented in today's proceedings, Your Honor, together with the testimonial evidence of the witness, we are made to believe that this is in support of the paragraph in the com impeachment complaint regarding alleged illegally acquired wealth under Article 2 of the impeachment. We have, we have to ask the uh, prosecution uh, the purpose for which this uh, witness uh, uh, is presented. And I think he stated that in the beginning uh, of his presentation. He, he narrated the uh, purpose for which uh, the witness was being asked to testify.